Those who join your Bibles, turn to uh, Matthew 5. Give me money, God. Matthew 5. The Beatitudes. When it says, Blessed are, blessed are, blessed are those, blessed means happy. You're made happy. You know, the Bible says that people pursue happiness, you know. But in Psalms 23, the Bible says, Happiness pursues a man and woman of God. Praise the Lord. Goodness. Okay, verse, chapter 5, verse 6. And it says, Blessed are those. Who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Okay, simple message, simple words, but mean so much, amen. You know, when I was speaking about a man or a woman's appetite for the want in your life, I want to speak about it tonight, amen. You know, when I first I was thinking back today, I've saved a lot, a lot of years. And I can remember when I first got saved, all I wanted is to hear the things of God. All I wanted to receive from the Lord. All I wanted is to have fellowship. I could never, ever get enough of the Lord. Have you been like that? No. I have, I have been a point in my life that I can never receive enough from the Lord. I've been like that. That I could never receive enough. Man, I'm worried about fellowship. Meetings was never too far to drive to, amen. It was never too much effort to get ready and go to a meeting, amen. And I had that onlyness for the things of God, amen. I've seen me when I first saved, amen, hawking and I let a dog get a job. All of a sudden, the old pattern come back alive. Bang! Out my mouth. And I've been so hungry and fierce for the things of God and righteousness. I said, whoa, 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 mate. Whoa, look, look, look. Well, I've just told you it was a lie to me to say that. It ain't that. And they look at me on the street. But all in my heart, I just wanted the things of God. And I do thank the Lord that we can get this appetite and this desire for the things of God, for the, for the righteousness, faith, for the things of God, amen. You know, the natural body craves. I think you can live without water. You can just do anything from three to maybe six days without water. Without food, you can go up to 40 days. Without food, then your body starts to devour itself and eat itself, and then you're into a, a state of starvation. Have you ever been three or four days without food? Then he is. I said, we go a week without nothing to eat, amen. Not, not my design, amen. Not my plan. I can remember I was talking to Austin with pancreatitis, amen. And what he had to do, he had to start my body out, amen. And I couldn't eat nothing, it was just pulling a drift. And all of the commandments, first two or three days, thinking about food, food. You know, after about five days, you don't even think about it. The body don't even desire it, it gets used to it. And that's how the spiritual man and the spiritual woman starts in it. When we start from missing from the word of God, from missing from, from the Lord, amen. When we start not going to meetings or receiving from the Lord, first we start from missing the meeting, we start from missing the fellowship. But you know, after a while, when you're out of your fellowship, when you're from church, you've got no desire to go. That, 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 that desire is gone. It's empty. It's gone. Why? Because you've gone, and, it, and it's just like the body. It gets used to being without the fellowship of God, even. What I want to talk about tonight, I want to talk about the man and woman. We should be hunger and thirst for the things of the Lord. Amen. There's a song I don't know if there, a man sung once. You remember Carmen Tom? He sung a song, Hunger and Thirst for Righteous Years and Years ago. Uh, 
And when you listen to you think, yes, that's me. We need to hunger and thirst for the things of God. But sadly, our body, the body, the Bible says that the body wants, the flesh wants, contrary to opposite, what the spirit wants. The spirit wants to receive the thing from God. It wants to please the spirit, the spiritual man. But the, the body wants to please the flesh. Maybe you'll agree later on, I'll tell you why. The perfect, the perfect, perfect example that I can give, amen, is in Genesis 3, the beginning, Genesis 3, Adam and Eve. God can give them anything, go where you want, touch what you want, but don't touch this tree. The tree of knowledge, amen. Do not touch this tree. And if you read in... in um, Genesis 3 verse 4 is saying that the tree was desirable for food. It was pleasing to the eye. Desirable, pleasing to the eye. And what did Eve go and do? She took the fruit. She took the fruit and not only condemned her own self, she took it to her husband. Look like very young. And they took of it, amen. And that was the beginning of the fall of man. You know what the Bible calls Jesus? The Bible calls Jesus the second Adam. You know, the first Adam, he took part of his wife's sin. He became, he done the sinful thing. But you know the second, the second Adam, Jesus Christ, amen, who committed no sin, amen, he chose to take our sin, the bride's sin, upon himself. Why? Because he loved us so much, amen. Even though without fault, he without sin, he chose to take our sin, amen. Because we can have this desire. Church, listen, don't get me wrong, I ain't just trying to go to sin. Many times, many times, just like Eve, the wife can go, or the husband can go. You can see this sin. Oh, it looks as if I want that. She's got it. He's got it. I want it. I want this thing, amen. I need it. Look how sparkly it is. Look what I could do. Everyone see because. Like, I'll have a better one than him, I'll have a better one than him. Why? Because it's nicer. It's desirable. It's pleasing to the eye. Sin is pleasing to the eye. Sin is desirable. And what she was not only took part of it, and she took it to her husband. And sometimes that's when we have to take it to her husband. Look right by her, look. Or her wife, look. Or I've seen It's shiny, it's more newer. It's the new model. I want it. I don't care what it's going to be or what I'll have to do to get it. Boys, sit down. I'll bite you nose off. I wouldn't. No. You don't know me. I want it. I want to take part of this thing, amen. I don't care what it's going to cost me or where I'm going to go, but I want it, amen. And many times as we when you start to desire the things of the world, the flesh starts to hunger and thirst, amen, for these things. For these things, why? Because the flesh desires them, amen. And the, sadly, let me tell you, your appetite will never, ever be pleased. It would never. You know what? I love strawberries and cream. There's two things I can't get enough of. I want to eat them, I want more. I want to eat them, I want more. It's strawberries and cream and pancakes. I can never get enough. Shelly starts to because she's frightened I'm having syrup on them. But I can never get enough of these things, amen. But that's how we can be for the world. We can never, ever get enough of these things, amen. But I just give the eating and say, well, you've just got it, I've just got it. It's getting duller, it's getting older. I need to go here, I need to go there. She done it, he's done it, I want it as well. 
What's the difference to me? We start to hunger and thirst for, for the things of the world, amen. I want to ask you tonight, what's your desire? What are you craving for? Are you craving for the things of the world? Is it so bad that you think about it? You know, I was in Bible college for a month. 24 years ago, I was in Bible college. And that year, the man who was in charge of the finances, Paul Ubik, he did a cutback. The way he said, they are not going to an holiday, they're going to learn. A month, we had one minute to start and the food was given, we was leaving it. For the same reason, I'm not going to tell you. And literally, we starved. I was going to bed thinking about food. I was waking up thinking about food. I mean, there's a little small tuck shop there with the, like, sweets and pork on there. I mean, not counting what was bought me, I think I spent £600 in a month just in rubbish trying to feed myself. And that was always on my mind. And I was thinking about the rough and ready food where I brought up on me. Food you probably wouldn't look at, amen. Right but food that where I was brought up on me, amen. I started to think about that. And that's how we grab the world, amen. We start to think about it. If I just had this, I need that. I need, I've got to have that. I've got to have this. When the body starts to crave it. And sometimes it doesn't matter what we do, or what's going to cost, we're going to want it. Why? Because we start to crave our appetite. We start to crave, and then we all want to face for sometimes the things that we shouldn't be doing. We're doing things that we shouldn't be doing. Looking at things you shouldn't be doing. Do it, amen. Listening to things you shouldn't be listening to, amen. Being a place you shouldn't be, be at, amen. Why? Because you're craving it. You're hungry and thirsty for these things, amen. We need to hunger and thirst for, the, for God's righteousness, amen. For the things of the Lord, amen. You know, this time of year we see it many times, every convention and a few missions we get. Believers, amen, and what to do, they binge out. They binge out and they go to the convention and just want to take, take and take it. Go to the mission and take it in and take it in. And you think, listen to me. They're like bulimia, amen, because they binge in, they binge. So as soon as they come from them places, they've never really talking to it at all, amen. It's been a break As soon as you take away, it just comes straight out again. There's never a fire to the life, you know. The way it's only good as you apply it to your life, amen. The way that God can change it, if you apply it to your life. The Bible says, a man who forgets the word, amen, in the book of James, is like a man looking in the mirror and forget what it looks like. But when we apply it to our life, and take it in, amen, we start to benefit. Our body starts to nourish through it, amen. The spiritual man starts to grow. Why? Because we look at nourishment from the things of God and, and prayer and, and, and time with God, amen. Do you pray the time to spend time with God? Are you craving this, amen? To spend time with God. Not just the see, amen. Not the fellowship. Not just this, amen. You know, personal time, taking time with God. Do you take craves and then do you want to spend time with the fellowship? And you know, yes, I can't wait for church. I want to spend some time with my brothers and sisters. I want to really, really, I'm not only just going to receive that I'm going to give out to my brothers and sisters. Amen. You crave the word of God. Do you hunger and thirst for it? Amen. We need that hungerness, amen. Have you ever been so thirsty, amen, so thirsty that you can never take your thirst away? You know, when I first, I mean, first few years being a diabetic, it's the first thing you do, amen. You drink and drink and drink. You cannot stop drinking, I don't know why. Because your body wants to take the fluid and the flush to sugar out, amen. But you take and take and take. When you're drinking a drink, you're thinking of the next thing, amen. You know? I've seen me in... in, in Czech Republic and Slovakia, you know, do missionary work. Any brain, I'm planning, I need drinks, you know. 
But the man, a woman of God, should be taken in, amen. Start to crave, amen. That first we need to the Lord, amen. We should never, ever, ever lose that desire to hunger and to thirst for the things of God. Because let me tell you, just like those trophies and cream, amen, you are a true man of God and a true woman of God will never, ever get enough of God. It will never be enough, amen. But we will be, the Bible said, we will be filled. When are we going to be filled, amen? When we're all with God. Because God wants you, God wants you to take him of me. What do you say? I am the bread of life. Take of me. Anyone first, come to me. Jesus knows that we need to take from me. We must have that appetite, that, that first that we want God in our life. We wake up in the morning time and we want God in our life. We need that desire to own with the full thing more than the flesh wants, amen. You know a good test, amen. A good test to yourself, I don't even know. I have my own problem, I fight every day to follow God, amen. You know the best test? In the morning time or the daytime, you're suffering, especially when you've been in a job waiting for a man to come back for a job, you've been in a job or whatever. What do you do? You got the phone, you do you put a lot of rubbish on? TikTok, or YouTube, or whatever. Do you put those on? Or when you are spare time, do you put the word of God on or teaching they make? The word of God. You ask yourself where you stand with that. You ask yourself, when you've got that thing in your hand, what do you want to receive from it? Things of rubbish of the world, or the things of God, amen? Because the man or woman of God will want the things from the Lord, amen? You know what I can do? Thank the Lord, amen. Thank the Lord Jesus. You know, like I said, when I first saved, I could never get enough to think of God. Never get enough. I just want to talk about God. I just want to fellowship. You know, I'd be walking, uh, and all of a sudden I see a Christian fish, and I try and find out if it was Christian. I just want to talk about God. People in the church want to hear about God, talk about God. Get to know this man Jesus more than him. But sadly, we lose our appetite for the years, don't we? We get less hungry, less desire for the things of God. But I can say, what something I want to say to Peter, these last few weeks I've never. For a long while, I had that desire, that hunger and thirst that God is going to be back with the things of God in him. And that's the truth. Lately, I'm just hunger and thirst for the things of God. I just want fellowship with my brothers and sisters, amen. I just want to receive from the Lord, amen. I just want to encourage my brothers and sisters, amen. Was it always there this last time? For, for a while, I find myself getting desire for this other things, amen. Want me for the little thing, you know. But I know as a man of God, I need to take from God. And I think he's right. It's not my righteousness, amen. Remember, I'm a piece of rubbish, amen. It's not my righteousness. I want to hunger and faith for God's righteousness in my life, amen. I want to first, amen, to seek the things of God. The only thing that matters is to find the things of God. We've all been hungry, we've all been there, we've been the cupboards, and you're thinking, I know she's gone in the shop, but there must be a piece of our cheese somewhere, amen. And there must be something there, edible, amen. And you've gone to the cupboard, and literally there's nothing in the cupboard. But you're searching some of the people, and that's the desire we should have, amen. We should want to search, search for the things of God, amen. And you know, Sometimes we see our brothers and sisters, you know, they seem to be put themselves on diet sometimes and struggling. And you ask yourself, why have we got this law? Why have we got this position? Why? Because you've not been taken in the things of God. Either. The spiritual man, the spiritual woman, if they're not taking the things of God, they will grow weak. They will grow tired. You will start to laugh. 
you lose concentration. You lose this desire to want and be with him. Oh, amen. God's come back to the church. God is very close to come back. Amen. But it'll be nice if we're ready now for the Lord to come back and we have this desire and wait for him. Amen. No one taking of the Lord. We start to look forward to him and start waiting for him more. Amen. Now tonight, I want to ask you for a leave here, amen. What have you been craving? What have you been craving? Have you been craving hunger and thirst for the things of the world? Or you find you neglecting yourself for the things of God? You've denied the spiritual man, the spiritual woman, you've denied that spiritual being, amen, the things that it means, amen. Don't say you are what you eat. A man or woman of God will show when they're taking the things of God in. Amen. The man or woman of God will show when they spend time with God. I can have two minutes with a man or woman. I know if they've been spending time with God. I know. Why? My spirit testifies to them. But let me tell you, it's no shame getting that position. We've all been there. We've all been there. Like I said, hide in there with stupidness by leaving yourself in that condition, amen. It's like you stand up for food and there's a cupboard full of food and you won't take it, amen. A man and woman's got to be stupid if the things are there to receive from the Lord and they refuse to take it. They refuse to receive from the Lord. Whether pride, I don't know, or just plain old beings is silly. We need to take from God tonight, church. We want to go on with God, we want to press on with God, we need to take from God. You want to be a man of honor of God, take the things of God, amen. And that word of God will tell you anything that you need, amen. Amen, so, so pray, amen, it's by red.